Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new Disney Heroes Battle Mode video. Now, this is another pre-recorded video for Friday guys, like I said, I'm not going to be able to have time and I still want to get a couple of videos done for you guys. So, what I want to do is actually come in and upgrade another character, a brand new character. So, I'm, I'm quite excited to kind of do this because I haven't upgraded any characters for a while and there's a few that you've all been asking me to do and it's a character that I use a lot so I'm going to jump in and I'm going to um, spend a little bit of time on Animal and the main reason I want to do Animal is because I'm I'm looking forward to using him in the um, in the actual next you know when I do my next part of the friendship missions you know there, there's there's going to be a lot to see in these friendship missions so I, I'm very very excited to spend a little bit of time on these missions and get these characters leveled up so they're ready for the friendship missions. Before I get into that guys, I want to do a fan art favourite. Now, like I said, this is pre-recorded, so bear that in mind. So let's take a quick look. I absolutely love that drawing of Ethan. I've showed it to Ethan. I haven't showed it to Ethan yet, because I'm waiting um, to do it on a video. Oh, someone's cheering me on down there on the... Um... God. Yeah, um, someone's happy for me, whoever that is. Cheers, legend. Oh, it looks like me at the moment, Come If I put my hood up, guys. Right. I think that's enough of fan-out favourites after that. <laughs> Appalling performance. Now, what I want to do here is upgrade Animal, star him up as high as I can, so I know for a fact we can go one star, maybe even four? I reckon we could probably get him up to four in this. So we've got him up to three at the moment, which is still relatively good. I need to move the camera down a little bit. Like that. So we've got him up to four at the moment, which is still uh, very, very good. So, uh, sorry, we've got him to three stars. He's got big boosts there. I can go one more time, which is good. So I can obviously get him up again to um, four stars. So we've got, him, we've got him on four, guys. And you can see straight away he's got... 23,000 more max HP, he's got 2,500 more basic damage, and his skill power's gone up to 2,000, well, his skill power's gone up by 3,600, and his overall power's gone up by 3,600. So that's just getting him up to four stars, which is obviously quite a big upgrade. Like, you know, I wouldn't overlook that. That is quite a big upgrade. So we start him up, now we're going to promote him up to red two as well. So, boom. We've got him up to red 1. He's got about 15,000 more health. Just over 1,000 more basic damage. Just over, um, about 1,800 odd skill power. And his overall power's gone up by about 2,000, guys. So once again, that's a pretty good upgrade. That's pretty good going. Now, I'm just missing... Oh, I'm just missing some bits off of here. 40 llamas, guys. But that would be me. So I am going to put all these on. Like that. Let's get these equipped onto him. Bang. Lovely. So that is him at a very good stage. Now, I don't really like... So, that's fine. So, as I, said, I don't really like the max HP one for him, but I don't have an alternative. So, that's fine. So, now we've got Animal up to four stars and red one. That is very, very good. That's a very, very good start, guys. So, what that's going to allow me to do is when I use Animal for all the things I use them in, we're going to be able to get a lot of progress. So, what I'm going to do now, guys, to finish this off is I just want to jump into a City Watch and sort of play for a City Watch with you from start to finish. So this is the one one away from the hardest mode. So what I'm going to do, I don't want to hire us, I want to use my team, the team I always use. So I obviously bounce, but I want to put Animal in now I've upgraded him, so we can see what Animal's like on this upgrade. So this team here, yes it's free supports, but that's just to keep Bo Peep and Zerg alive guys. And then I just let all the other characters, so all we need is Zerg to shoot like that. And then I just leave it because there's no point of wasting skills when there's one guy left. That's always a little bit of an issue when you play the game through on auto, guys. It's just that um, is that you, you kind of get a little bit stuck between doing, you know, working it out. So you don't really want to play on auto at all. If you can avoid it, I'd suggest that you never play on auto. Just just never, never go auto. It, it does not work. So I'm going to link with both people. I'm going to speed up, then use Zerg. You can see that everyone's dead. Judy comes back and you just let these guys die naturally, then the healing occurs and all of their skill power regenerates as well. So just from doing that, you're seeing a very, very good amount of buffs and heals and everything along those lines. So it's all quite important to do that. 
So if we're playing from here as well, so I'm going to link up with Bo Peep, shoot Zerg, shoot there, like that. Like that, I'm going to shoot across here. So they have killed Zerg, which is a shame, and that's because I just wasn't paying any attention. I just sort of dripped off there. So we've got Zerg here, so what I'm going to do, uh, straight away link, spin, shoot. Now what I need to use is when Gashin jumps in, charm him. Charm him, like that. Then stun him, then he's gone. So that's the good thing, because when the red notes are above the head, when you use Miguel's special, he stuns. Then you can charm with Meg. So if you balance that out correctly, any of these kind of more awkward characters, you are very, 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 very easily able to just shoot them back. So here, I'm going to wait. Link, link like that. That's going to drop everyone. So you can, you can start progressing through these levels unbelievably quickly. Um, if you are getting the right team, guys. So obviously the next thing I want to do is get Bo Peep's red skill. But it is just a bit of a pain to get red skills. Because obviously I'm happy to keep going through and getting Zerg's red skills as well and level them up. And it will become easier as I level up these, you know, my front two characters. Because obviously I've got Zerg to red two, obviously. I've got Bo Peep to red two. What I'm able to do at the moment is start to get the next shards I need for the characters to get them up to like the next level. So that's what I'm going to do and spend quite a lot of resources and stamina over over the um, kind of, well, it would be in the past now because I'm pre-recording this, but in the past to just get their badge and get those final badges equipped on uh, Bo Peep and Zerg to start off with. So let Quora land, then you shoot. Because that's what you've got to be a little bit careful of when these characters fly in, is that they are, they are evading and dodging attacks. So you always need to be a little bit careful with that. So I'm going to fight here. So let's see what we've got here. That's fine. I'm going to sh shoot that off straight away. That's just going to kill everyone. So that was fighting the Incredibles team, which was quite cool. But they all died very easily. So what I like to do is always just have a nice queue of uh, City Watch resets. So when there's ever a double, um, a double event. So here, we've got to watch out because Gonzo is obviously going to be quite resistant to everything. So I've charmed him and we've killed him. So that was once again the use of controlling Meg's charm because it charms for three seconds. Not very long, but it gives you enough time to get your team sorted, kind of in back into combat. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to have the same issue here. So I'm going to shoot Meg off. I'm going to use that. Okay, so... Ooh, why? Well, okay, so I am. I'm gonna quickly push. I'm gonna start this one straight away, and I'm gonna go link, and I'm gonna go use use straight away like that. Use use, then speed up, then stun like that. Because what happened there was that uh, Bo Peep died straight away because another Bo Peep hit her. So I'm gonna come in. So this team's gonna be a lot more difficult because we've got a guy who can remove debuffs. So straight off the bat, I'm gonna link, link, use use like that. Get, try and get as much damage in as quickly as possible. So now we've got Randall, who I know is a very, very irritating person to try and take out because of his high amounts of damage. Yeah. This is why this this is why I hate this game. Because this team here is physically impossible because Rafiki heals too much. I'm, I'm pointing to them in anger, but you can't see that. Rafiki heals too much. Randall is too overpowered. And it's not even the final chapter. And they're, it, it, it's just ridiculous. So if I do just try on auto and just see what we can come up with here on auto mode. But it, it's that initial look at Randall's healing. And then there's no way we can kill these all these characters at the same time. It, 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 it doesn't make sense. And it is so annoying because it's such a waste of a attack. I don't have any characters that I could physically think of who'd be able to counter that. Now, let's hire someone else. Let's try and get some free stuff. So I'm going to drop here out, put him on. Um, yeah, let's just go with that and see if maybe I could, by miracle, work some freeze damage in. How can he be that resistant? Do you, do you guys see how annoying that is? 
How can he be that resistant? <sighs> breathe, 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 breathe. So obviously then that one's done. I can reset it. So tomorrow I get another one. So it is worth going through that every day, guys, just to keep breathing in those keys. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you all Saturday.